In this video, I'll be showing you how to design a book cover in Photoshop. So let's get started. First, open your Photoshop application. Go to File and create a new document. Under the document, set place to be inches and make the size 40. Five. Leave the resolution at 300 or anyhow you want it. And when you are done, click OK. Now we are going to set the guideline to guide us. So go to new, go to new guideline. Set this to 49. Sorry. And set the other ones. So go to the new guide. It's one person. Now for the edges, you can choose to maybe sorry. Set this to one person. And set the other one. 99%. And the top one, I'm bringing it up and bring this up. So we are done setting our guidelines. This is going to guide us in uh, designing our cover book. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to grab our gradient tool over here. So the paint bucket tool. Choose the paint packet to select your color and change the color to 1cc ABC. Click OK. Then right click on the background layer. You right click like this and it will automatically fill with the color that you choose. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to put maybe the first that you're going to use. So you might I'll change my color to white and I'll type Ghana. The font that I'm using is Helletical Interactive. So you can download that. So you position your first very nice. Then you go to the rectangle to and you choose the one bit. Rectangle. Draw on your test ID, and when it fills, go to the fill and set it to zero percent. Now, right click on your rounded rectangle, go to blend options, and set the stroke to about four or five. Anyhow, like any, so I set my the best thing that will be for you. I think mine at nine would be. So when you are done, you click OK. Now we are done setting our tests. Okay, so let's go and bring in the image. So go to file and go to place. This is the image that I'm going to use. So you select the image and you click place. Now position the image very nicely. Right in the rounded rectangle. Then rasterize the layer. Select clip mask or layer mask. Sorry, add layer mask. Then your brush should be at black in color and the size or the hardness it has to be zero percent. Opacity here has to be 100%. Then increase the brush size a bit. And start to brush the unwanted areas that you don't want. So, in my case, I choose to brush. Sorry. Okay, I choose to brush like this. 
So when we are done, we can duplicate the first test you made here by pressing Ctrl G. Then you drag it down and you type whatever you want to type. So I choose to type okay. exercise books. Then I will transform it down a bit and I will position it very nicely. So when I'm done, I'm just going to select the rounded rectangle like this and I'll draw down okay, the about this side. Then I'm going to change the color to white. And then since there is not enough space here, I chose to decrease my pictures more and I'll push it up. Yes. So I'll push this one to a bit so that I can have enough space to work on this one. Good. So I think this is fine. Alright, so when you are done, all you have to do is select your test tool again and then you can click anywhere and start to type. So I type and I'll fix. So this time around, I'm going to use a different font and I'm going in for maybe uh, I don't have that one here. So I'm going for Times New Roman. And I'll set that one to bold italic. So I'll bring this one. Let's change the color to black. And make sure it is uh, left aligned. Yeah, left aligned. Thank you. Position it very nice. So we add some dots to it again. Shall we change the font? So you go ahead and think. Okay, so you go ahead and add maybe class. Then you add the dots again. Then you add the subjects. And then it's a comment. Then it's So when you are done, you select it all and you space it out a bit. So I think here, and then you can decrease the size. I think this font is too big, so let's, let's try out a new font, maybe a bit smaller. So when you see the recent, I think this one will be. So position that key and then just select this one, copy it, and then paste, paste it out here. You come down and you paste it again. You come down and paste it until you are done with all of it. So paste. And then you paste it. When you are done, you just click OK. Now, you can clear up this one. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my rectangle to draw a rectangle here and then I'll bring it down and I'll scale it. And I'm going to change the color to F961 and then I'll click OK. Now when I'm done, we are almost through with that. It has left with a back cover, but since it takes a lot of time, I'm just going to draw another rectangle here and change the color to white. Then since I'm done with uh, the back, the back already, I'm just going to copy my back cover. And then I will bring it to this one. I'll just position it. So let me position it on this side. So you can use any other thing that you want to use for the back. I prefer the uh, metric arithmetical tables and the uh, multiplication tables yeah. so that's it guys that's basically how to design a book cover in photoshop i hope you enjoyed the tutorials and if you did i hope you give it a like and you subscribe to my channel for more videos so until the next video take care see you again bye